What's going on? Dylan Conrad, Metabolic AF. Today I'm going to be talking about three habits that will help you ladies lose 17 or more pounds in the next 90 days. If you're watching us on YouTube, please like, subscribe, turn notifications on Spotify, iTunes, hit that bell button, leave a review. It helps the algo. All right, so three habits. So if we were stuck on a desert island, I only had three habits to give you to lose 17 pounds in the next 90 days. What would those three habits be? Number one, okay? And the reason this is number one is because if we look at the fat loss hierarchy, okay? The most important thing is your hormone optimization. After that, it's going to be recovery. Then it's going to be caloric intake. So if we're looking at number one, hormone optimization, what's going to allow us to optimize our hormones? What's the biggest hormone? Cortisol. Because if cortisol is dysregulated, you have high cortisol, low cortisol, high low cortisol. If that is dysregulated, all the hormones going down, estrogen, progesterone, thyroid, everything is going to be off. Right? So you cannot have anything else optimized unless you get cortisol optimized first. How do you do that? What's the biggest thing that's going to influence your cortisol? Sleep. Go the fuck to sleep seven to nine hours per night, please. If you say, oh, I sleep six hours and I feel fine, you're, you don't, okay? You, you don't. It's like you're actually drunk, okay? So I can operate probably through a day drunk, and so can you, but you're operating drunk. So can imagine if you were sober how much better your work would be, how much better your relationships would be, how much better your health would be, okay? So any woman telling me that they don't need at least seven hours of sleep, you need to realize that you are drunk right now and you need to stop drinking and you need to get sober and sleep seven or nine hours, okay? Love you. All right, so that's the first one, sleep seven or nine hours per night. If you have trouble sleeping, by the way, um, make sure electronics is off three hours before you go to sleep. Um, make sure that you have like a bedtime routine, um, supplements work great. I use uh, Prestige Labs Sleep Multiplier. Most sleep supplements just get you to sleep. This one gets you to sleep and actually keeps you asleep. So if you're someone who wakes up throughout the night, it's always a good one. Pretty much, unless you have like bladder issues, people only wake up throughout the night because of their simulation of their nervous system. So if your nervous system is still stimulated, you're still in like a fight or flight for the day, you're not going to get good sleep. So exercise really helps that. Hard exercise, high intensity interval training, depending on what your hormonal profile looks like is great. Strength training is great for any hormonal profile. So those are things you want to implement to get better sleep that night. Um, all right, number two, second habit, daily habit, okay? What are we looking at? We're looking at augmented feedback, right? So augmented feedback, what is that? So if you've done Orange Theory, you know how you see like, you, you basically, if you don't know what it is, by the way, Orange Theory is a uh, workout class, um, high intensity interval training, kind of more aerobics. But uh, I'm not saying to like put it down, by the way. But you have a you have a heart rate monitor, okay? Heart rate monitor gets your heart rate, and you can see it on the screen. And what they find is that when you can see that number on the screen, it's gonna push you to perform better and get that number higher. So you're gonna work harder. So that's augmented feedback. So what kind of augmented feedback can we have daily? to increase our progress and our adherence to our nutrition and training and our lifestyle. Getting your weight daily, right? Yes, as a woman, you are going to fluctuate every single day, right? And that's why we take the averages from week to week. But there are instances where you're like, okay, I'm fucking four pounds heavier today. What did I eat yesterday? Like what inflamed me? It's feedback, right? Something that you ate that really inflamed you that you're maybe you have an allergy to. Uh, maybe it's dairy, maybe it's gluten, whatever it is. It also, if you ate like an asshole the day before, <laughs> it'll show up on the scale the next day and you'll be like, okay, I need a course correct, right? And so getting your daily scale weight, that will be huge for augmented feedback and increasing your adherence to nutrition and training so you actually continue to see results. Instead of cherry picking it week to week and you're not getting an average, you're gonna fluctuate every single day anyways, even if your nutrition is perfect, getting your averages daily will allow us to get a clear cut picture of actual progress. A lot of people are like, fuck, I feel like I hit a plateau. I'm like, dude, well, last week you were three pounds heavier and then yeah, this pound, this your your three pounds lighter. Maybe the last three days you've been at the same weight, but you've dropped like drastically since then. Okay. Number two, getting your daily scale weight. Number three, okay, and this is research they have coming out of UCLA very soon. Uh, one of my clients does the research uh, and they teamed up with my fitness pal. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna get into next. Number three is tracking your food daily. What they found, and this is me releasing it early, <laughs> what they found that is if you track your food daily, you will hit your goal. Right? It's not if, it's going to be when. So if you track your food daily, if you just enter everything you eat, you're eventually going to get your goal weight. You're going to lose weight. So that is an indicator that you will lose weight. So tracking your food. Why? Right? Behaviorally, a couple things are happening. One, if we, we're always going to have cravings, right? 
if you have a wedge between your cravings, so say you're like craving, I'm craving to go over 5,000 more calories that I need to, right? You put your food in, right? And then you eat it. And that behaviorally will drive a wedge between your craving and your action. So that will stop you from making a poor decision, right? The other thing is what gets measured gets managed. So we're allowed to see, okay, what are our calories doing? We'll make our adjustments to our macros to actually see some expedited results so we can continue to lose fat, okay? The biggest thing behaviorally that's going on with you tracking your food though, okay? Do you know what that is? <laughs> the biggest behavioral thing for you tracking your food is gonna be your accountability to yourself. <laughs> your accountability, you showing yourself, okay, this is actually what's happening. Because a lot of times in our mind, we really can't remember exactly what you ate. But if you're logging every single morsel of food, you're gonna have accountability to yourself and you're gonna see exactly what you are and are not eating and actually how good your adherence is. For me, when I first started with my coach and I was logging every day, he's like, I thought I was doing great. And once I actually saw what I was doing, I was like, oh shit, like I've been eating like this. My fitness pal, you might hate it, but it's just exposing the habits they already have, right? We're just looking at it with a mirror now. Anyways, hope this helps. Three habits that you can use in the next 90 days to help you lose 17 or more pounds of fat. Um, you know, obviously, look, if you don't have 17 pounds of fat, this isn't going to help you lose 17 pounds of fat. But if you have 17 or more pounds of fat to lose, this will help you lose in the next 90 days. Um, please like, subscribe, turn notifications on. Um, on Instagram, if you want my, if you don't know how to track your food, by the way, because it is like, I think influencers just don't really realize this, but it is kind of, it's tough. Um, there's a skill involved with it. Don't feel like a dummy. Uh, go on Instagram at Dylan A. Conrad, DM me macro tracking, and I'll send you my food tracking guide um, ASAP. Love you. Bye.